Greetings everybody, this is Elias Planakos from Wireless Insider and today I have with me the brand new HTC Raider 4G, the newest one from HTC. I'm going to be going over with you very quickly the software of the device, a run through how it performs and some customizations, the specifications, the startup time, a quick sunlight test, and in the end, a list of the small things that you may or may not have known about this device that may make or break your decision to go out and buy it. So you know what? Let's go ahead and get started. <music> Okie dokie, so the HTC Raider comes in a nice white box here, a very small platform. On the left there's nothing, on the back serial number information and a list of some specifications of the device. Right hand side, uh, same thing but in French here in Canada, and boom, alright. Opens up from the bottom, let's take a look at this guy, and there you go, greeted by the HTC Raider 4G LTE. We'll get to this guy in one second, if I can pop this guy out already. And underneath we find uh, literature, eh, reading, no time for that. Uh, let's see, uh, data cable, plugging it into your computer, or you can plug it into the charging brick here. Very nice, okay. And we have stereo headphones, the standard style, with multimedia controls. So excellent, you can pause, play, rewind, fast forward, make calls, and calls, all that stuff, straight from the headset. Wicked. And we have a battery here rated at 1620 milliamp hours. So, yeah, nice and big for a very big screen. Let's see. How it goes in so let's take the phone here put it up front center all right so taking a look at the device itself it is very beautiful it's a it's an absolutely gorgeous device here it has a piano black plastic here with a metal back i want to tilt it in light here so you can get a good look of what i see here it's very nice uh, you can see this could be sometimes of a finger uh, like a fingerprint magnet but it's very elegant and you thought the iphone 4 was a very nice one holding your hand this thing just feels in the realm of luxury. <laughs> so taking a look at the side here, on the right hand side we have the volume, up, uh, volume down rockers, nothing else over there. The bottom, just a microphone. On the left hand side we have a micro USB charging port, nothing else there. And at the top we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the power on off button. The front we have four capacitive touch buttons for home, menu, back and search. The back we have an 8 megapixel camera with dual LED flash, capable of shooting video up to 1080p, and the speaker is right over here for your audio. So I'm gonna tilt this around just a bit more so you can see it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, one of the best phones I've seen from HTC in terms of a design standpoint, and uh, the back cover comes off like this. Slide it up, falls out. Excellent, and in the back we have room for the battery, SIM card slot, and micro SD slot. Very nice, so what we're gonna do, um, actually this is pretty cool, if you notice here on the battery plate, there's a little little uh, rod. That rod goes into this little slot here to help prevent this from sliding off because it's very easy to come undone. Uh, it, has, it acts more like a locking mechanism to prevent this from coming off unintentionally. So that's a very cool little thing to keep in mind. So let's pop this battery in here and I'm going to time to see how long it takes for the phone to turn on. Three, two, one. Alrighty, so it's on its way. In the meantime, we'll go over some specs of the device. HTC Raider is running a resolution of 960 by 540 pixels with a QHD TFT capacitive touch display, which basically means awesome. <laughs> uh, it has a dual core 1.2 gigahertz processor with one gigabyte of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal memory, and as you notice from the back, it does support micro SD expandable memory, which is very cool. So this guy is absolutely a powerhouse. Let's see uh, how long it takes to turn on. It's chugging along here. Oh, just to point out, it does have an LED status indicator for messages, as well as a 1.3 mm, uh, sorry, 1.3 megapixel camera for front-facing conversation or for taking pictures of yourself. So uh, here we go, do 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 do, and it's done. 48 seconds. Not bad. Very nice. Let's see if it's ready, good to go already. Load the UI. There's no SIM card in there, and uh, yeah, and it's pretty much good to go. Beauty. Put this on Wi-Fi, and let's get this guy going to 48 seconds, not too shabby for the HTC Raider. So let's take a look at the software. Uh, those of you who are familiar with HTC Sense UI, I'll go through very briefly for those of you who aren't, but basically HTC Sense UI is HTC's version or software overlay on top of this phone since it is running Gingerbread version 2.3.4. So real quick, I'll go through the, the UI in just a minute or so. So on the top, you have a status indicator bar. If you slide that down, it shows you your notifications. If you quick, uh, click on quick settings, you have access to Wi-Fi, mobile network, Wi-Fi hotspot, but you know, some common commands there. Let's go back. If you go over here to the bottom right corner, it does get you to your personalization menu. So you can change the scene, the skin, wallpaper, even the lock screen. 
uh, wallpaper type. So over here, for example, it does say airplane mode, but you can customize this to show you weather, stock information, fancy stuff, and things of that nature. I'll show you real quickly what, the, what I mean by that. So we have normal wallpaper, a photo album. So when your phone is locked, you can see all of these things going on on the front of the phone, which is very cool. Let's go back to personalize. We have a widgets applications. You know, basically everything you can do to customize the phone, you can do from this little, little uh, button there, or you can click menu and personalize. It's the same thing. All right, so if we go from screen to screen here, you'll notice it has a really cool swiping effect in 3D. I figure it has this much power, might as well show it to you in a very cool fashion, sort of like how the weather works. Check this out, click on weather, and it fades or zooms in to your local city and the weather. Very cool. Click on this button here, it shows you the extended forecast. You can go five day or hourly, whatever you want. So, hey, built into the phone, very cool. And if you wanna show someone off uh, or show off your phone to somebody, you have the uh, weather app here built into the phone. You can always just swipe up has a really cool zoom in effect where you're changing from city to city. So it works a lot. Basically, HTC is trying to take all the power they have available in this device and show it to you and project it to the user in the, uh, the way of uh, really cool visual effects. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, keyboard here, how it looks on the phone. And do -do -do. So let's try typing something real quick. 4.5 inch display, absolutely incredible size. So let's see uh, what, we're, what it's capable of doing. Let's type in, oh, that's at the top. Let's go down here. Okay, that's a smaller version. All right, that's no, no big deal. Let's go on the landscape mode now. Oh, this is massive. <laughs> the... So as you can see, it's detecting words that are incorrect or of course uh, ones that don't make sense. If I click on this guy here, you can navigate through text by tapping and dragging this little icon here. Let me try clicking on loves, yeah. That's cool. All right, so the keyboard is very nice, as you can expect from a screen size this large. So uh, anything else in the UI? Let's take a look at the icons. As you notice, they scroll up and down. They're not left and right like uh, some other devices. So when you get into the menu, there you have it. And you have a section at the bottom for common, uh, sorry, all applications are frequent and your downloaded ones. Very nice, cool. All right, so let's get into the web browser. This is running on a Wi-Fi connection. Let's go ahead and see how quickly you can load a web page. Very nice, okay. Let's go on to uh, what I always do. Let's go to ngadget.com. Let me zoom in just a bit here. All right. So it loaded the mobile version, very jiffy quick. Nice, smooth, it better be. <laughs> you can pinch the zoom in mobile websites, so that's nice to see. Let's get out of here. Let's go all the way to the bottom. Let's go to desktop. As you can imagine, this being a gingerbread device on Android, it does support Flash content. So, oh yeah, you can enjoy a Flash. I believe it comes with Adobe Flash version 11. So, yeah. Still loading. Let's see how it works when it's still loading. All right, you can go through the site. Well, it's done. Wow. That is smooth as hell. <laughs> All right. Let's um, check reaction time here. Let's go somewhere where there's bold text right here. Oops. Instantaneous text rendering. Great. No delay, no fuzziness. Excellent. Let me show you how this looks like on my side. This is very clear text. Absolutely beautiful. Oh yeah, it's like you're reading off a book. <laughs> Zoom on out here. Okay. And let's try doing it in this mode as well. Let's see how quickly we can do this. Yeah, very nice. Now let's zoom in as much as possible and do the exact same thing. This is just a joy to use on the browser. I can see right now it's very smooth. It doesn't click things by accident when I tap. It knows exactly how how hard I'm swiping to get to the web page. Very nice. And zoom out. Very nice. Render. Great. Beauty. All right. So on that note, let's go to YouTube. Let's go ahead and see what we've got here and how it performs for a quick audio video test. Uh, let me just go here. Oh, it's easier. All right. And as always, I will search for the movie trailer 300 to see how loud this phone can really get. Excellent. Very quick results. All right. And it's the first one. Rotate the screen. All right. Very clear, very crisp. Audio from the speaker up here, which is nice because no matter how you hold this phone, you can't really block the speaker entirely. So it's nice to see that. All right.
right? So not the loudest for this particular video. The rest are sure there are some that is very loud for, but for the sake of consistency, I always use this movie trailer. So not too bad. I've heard louder, but you know, gets the job done. All right, quick to rotate, better be. <laughs> and uh, yeah, excellent. Okay, now let's get out of here. All right, so now that we're back at the home screen, let me show you a few more cool things this phone can do. Uh, you from swiping screen to screen, it's very smooth, and of course, if you do it very quickly, it gives you that cool 3D carousel effect, that's fine. But to customize them, as you notice, you can press the home button twice, or you can pinch the zoom here, and it gives you a very nice animation effect and shows you the home screens you have, and you can customize and move them around and anything of that nature. Uh, on that note, uh, this is a good way to check its performance. When it pinch the zoom very close, or very uh, slowly here, give you an idea of how smooth this device really is. Oh, that's beautiful. 30 frames per second at least, no lag. And of course, it does support live wallpapers. It better, right? So let's go to personalize. Let's go to wallpapers. Live. Live wallpapers just mean they're animated. So let's go to a cool one here. That's boring, boring. All right, let's go do to, uh, let's go this one here. All right. It's a nice animated wallpaper. It's a little curve there. You rotate, uh, you notice the bottom section rotates with it. Very nice, very smooth. All right, so that's why I want to see. Also, when you're dragging around widgets, let's say you want to move calendar, replace it with mail, uh, little icons move around. So if there's something in your way, it tries to move it out of the way. If there's no room, it just won't work. Check it out. Moves them out of the way, but if you try adding another widget, it will not work if that space is already occupied. So a whole bunch of widgets you can choose from as well. And you can download a lot of the free ones from the marketplace. All right, so you know what? Let's go ahead and take this phone outside for a quick sunlight test. All right, here's our sunlight test of the HTC Radar. Uh, turn it on. All right, let's go ahead and unlock the screen. And you're created at the home screen here. Okay, let's uh, go into the icons. Get right in the sunlight. There it is. Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn the brightness all the way up. Let's see how this guy looks in sunlight. Come on now. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's already on max. Okay. And let's go here. So you can see pretty much the icons and everything. It's a very nice display. Let's go back into the menu. All right, let's go somewhere where there's white. Messaging. No messages. Let's try composing a message. And there's the keypad. So... Yeah, I can still see what I'm doing here in the sunlight. Great. All right, let's go back inside. Alrighty, we're back inside. And as you notice, the uh, phone performed pretty good in the sunlight test. And that's a lot to do with its large size and QHD display, which is very cool to see from HTC. So, all right, let's go ahead and move on to the small things, things you may or may not have known about, things that may make or break your decision to buy or consider the HTC Raider 4G as your personal device. Well, there's a few things I really appreciate it. First of all, uh, it's a very nice, very vibrant uh, QHD TFT display. It's very solid when feeling it in your hand. And uh, I have absolutely no complaints with the design, except, eh, sure, you get some fingerprints here or there and if your hands are a little clammy it may slip or feel a little slippery however it is a very elegant a very professional and very direct design something i haven't seen a lot of in the marketplace also a nice thing was the fact that this back plate does indeed have a little bolt here to stop it from falling off easily as anyone with a blackberry in the past would know eventually this, these kinds of plates in this design would uh, loosen up and would fall off but with a uh, four points where it connects to the back as well as that little rod to hold it in place that is very nice bonus to see also because of the design of the phone that is also a HDMI out using an adapter cable you can hook this up to a television which is nice especially with a device with 16 gigabytes of onboard memory you want to load it up with a bunch of media hit the road go to a hotel party with some friends plug it into the TV and all of a sudden you've got a whole bunch of music videos or movies or whatever you want to show everyone around you the device is also LTE capable of hitting up to 75 megabits per second. So if you get the LTE version of this device, it is future-proof and absolutely a screamer when you're using it off of a Wi-Fi network. The phone also has a FM radio. I don't know if that's a big deal for some people out there. I just thought I'd mention it because people were talking about it before in the comments of my previous videos. But also, this uh, for text input, this device also has something called Trace. It's their version of Samsung Swipe. So for example, if we go here, you want to tap something, you can just go like this. The... Where are we? Quick. You get the idea. <laughs> so you can change the color the way this line shows up, but you don't even have to lift your fingers from the keyboard. You can just start tracing or doing your thing on the device itself, which is a nice little inclusion. Also, almost forgot, the camera is absolutely incredible. If we go ahead and start that off, and as you notice, there is no physical button here for the camera, which is consistent across Samsung, or sorry, HTC devices. If we go ahead and try taking a picture here. Without me touching the screen, it automatically attempts to focus, which is a very nice addition. So in this case, let's go ahead and take a picture, put the flash on. Let's 
go ahead and do that. Oh, whoops, I'm pressing the flash button. Alright, let's do that again. Let's go over here. An absolutely beautiful uh, camera at 8 megapixels. Uh, 1080p video was very clear, like you can take a look right here. Very smooth. I'm thoroughly impressed with the way this phone does perform with multimedia from playback to taking photographs. As you can see here, that's absolutely incredible. But in the end, this is an absolutely crazy device. Uh, HTC really took themselves to the table this time. A very nice design paired with great specifications and hardware equals a one-up great two-thumbs-up phone. Again, this is your last plan. That goes from Wireless Insider. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it in the section below. And as always, if you like what you saw here today, please comment and subscribe. Until next time, take care.